Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys the last in my collection of lucky bags that I bought this year for New Year's for Hatsuri, which is the first sale of the new year. Uh, lucky bags are a great way to get some fun things from a store that you might frequent. Um, I like to kind of go places I always wish I could shop from, but I don't normally because then a lot of times the stuff in it is all things I've never bought before. Uh, my mother-in-law one year bought one from the fashion store she always bought her clothes from and she spent quite a lot of money. I've been showing you guys lucky bags here that are no more than $30. This one's $30 today and I'm going to show you guys. But usually the ones I get are, are 10 about or 20 But she spent like one, there's a lot of the, the bigger, more expensive stores. They can be 100 to 200 to $300 depending on what you buy. And she got one, I think it was $200, and everything in it was something she already had. I felt so bad for her. I mean, the bag was the exact same color, the same style. The jacket was the same color. Uh, she just really got some bad luck. So uh, you have to kind of keep in mind that. You don't want to go someplace you always go, and you've bought everything that they have there, because then you probably are going to get some repeats. But it's always kind of nice to get to find a place that actually has kind of random, crazy, fun stuff in here. Lately, these kinds of lucky bags have been specifically made things that are being sold in the bags, and they're usually a little bit lower quality, and, um, you know, they kind of show you from the beginning exactly what you're going to get, and there's no difference. Everything is exactly the same color and same thing inside, so there's no real fun from that. This is from uh, the same place, actually, that I got the first hoop book that I showed you guys, that big, the stationary red bag. This is from that store, too. That bookstore is not just a bookstore, but it's what we call like a Zaka store, which sells lots of things for the house and home. It's a great place to pick up a little something for yourself, or if you're looking for a little gift for your friend for their birthday, then that's a great place to go too. They have uh, you know, mug cups, tea cups, uh, room uh, perfume sets, uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, some clothes, uh, scarves, towels, all kinds of small trinkets, frames, and stuff like that. So it's a great place to go for picking up fun stuff like that. This is their lucky bag that's 3,000 yen. Now, it comes in this cool, huge bag. I don't know if I can try to show you guys what it looks like here. It's one of those sort of like echo bags, you know? And it's got these cute cats on it. And all of them were like this. They all had cats on them, but there were three or four different color versions. Blue, purp uh, you know, brown, cream colored. But the bag itself, when you kind of open it up, is nice because there's this nice drawstring so that if you're, it's, you can use this for picnicking because it has the aluminum kind of insulation in it to keep your food hot or cold depending on what you want to do. And then it has this nice big drawstring on the top to kind of keep everything secure. So just this bag itself is great and worth having the money for. But then let's see what we have inside. Ooh, what do we start off with here? Right here on top we have it looks like a scarf. Yeah. I have a yeah, nice warm looking one there. Wow, that looks nice and big. Cute color, nice neutral color. Let's see, is there a price? Oh, there's the price. I was like seeing how much everything is. Because I would never normally probably pay so much for these things. Okay. That doesn't say the price, does it? doesn't tell me the cost, but it's cute, adorable. Always nice to have one of these kinds of things around. Pretty well made, good one to have, so that's nice. Let's see what else we got here. This right here, I believe, yeah, this is the bag for this bag. If you want to fold it up and put it small, keep it in your car or in your bag somewhere. So these kinds of things, like I said, are really nice and easy to carry around. You can take them. This is supposed to be perfect. It fits perfectly for when you go to the grocery store because it fits exactly into the little baskets that you use for that. So that's nice. And then it just folds up like that and keeps everything in there warm or cold. And this just by itself is normally... Oh, come on. Does it say? Maybe it doesn't say how much it is normally. But that is cute. A cute thing to have for sure. So that's one of the things that's in there with the little bag that includes the cat. Okay, what else did we get? What is this? Wow, this is a nice big bag. And this looks like it's normally 1,500 yen. 
This is a nice sturdy kind of bag that you could use. This could also be used for carrying lunches uh, as, as an alternative, like as a purse basically. So it has a nice zipper and then this nice simple handle on it. So having these kind of styles of keeping everything kind of simple and uh, it's sturdy, it's very strong and very big kind of nice navy blue color. So that's kind of cool for a thousand. $15 for that is pretty good, definitely. It's a nice, big, sturdy kind of canvas bag, so perfect for like when you go on vacation and stuff. If you don't want to bring your own bag, if you know you're gonna be, you know, going to the beach and stuff or in the mountains where things can get all dirty, it can be nice to have one of these. So cool, I like that. Very nice. So what else do we have here? Napkins. Okay, cool. They're Kath Kitson though. That's cool. Everybody likes that. That is really popular here. So to have these kind of like, we don't normally use napkins here. So uh, sometimes it can get like, look at that, 700 yen, $7 for napkins. Okay, there's 20 in there. That's kind of cool. I like that, that'll be fun for a party, birthday party or something, definitely. What do we have here? This is a blanket, I bet, yeah. This is a nice soft blanket. These are one of those fleece ones that's really warm but doesn't take up a lot of room, perfect for putting on your lap when you're hanging out, reading, looking at your, your computer and stuff, reading your iPad and stuff. 1,200 yen for that. And like I said, it's that nice micro fleece, super, super soft kind of guy there. And it's a nice size, perfect for a single person, but it's nice because it's thin, but really warm. So people like to have these because as I've mentioned in a previous video, it gets cold here, <laughs> really cold. So it's nice to have as many of these in all the different rooms in your house. To keep you from freezing off your toes. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this is cute. Little pouch. This is a nice pouch. Perfect for has that nice sort of treated canvas kind of effect to it. So it won't like stain or get wet so easily. It opens up nice. It has like two sections to it, it looks like. Okay. How much is this normally? That was normally 1,700 yen, so okay. And it looks like inside, yeah, you have two sections to hold stuff. So that's cute for like makeup or for when you're traveling to have, you know, shampoo and stuff in there. That's cute. Very adorable. I like the pattern for it too. It's nice for summertime. So then we also have down here something in the corner. There we go. A mug cup. That's cool. And it's this initial series, okay, a stacking mug. So it doesn't show the price anymore, but let's see which letter I got. Am I lucky? Did I get a letter that has anything to do with my name? R, okay, <laughs> that's not anything to do with my name or anyone I know. But my girls like to play rock and roll, so we'll do that. We'll call that the R for that. But these are meant to stack, so if you have multiple ones, you could have like your whole family or have it spell like love or something like that. Very cute. And, you know, nice thing to have for those purposes. And I'm sure it's easily $10. So it's nice to have that for sure. And I always like I'll collect coffee mugs. So what do we have here? Oh, this is cool. This is another nice thing to have because you're always freezing to death here. This is like a little kind of leg warmer or hand warmer to put on you to keep you warm. And then you can also put it like on your drink too. And it's normally a thousand yen or 700 yen when it was discounted. So and um and it's got these cute little color combinations of being sort of like strawberries that's cute a nice kind of organic cotton series they have a lot of those kinds of things at this particular store so if you're a fan of those things you can do that and you can cut it apparently to any size that you want and then it kind of frays kind of cute on the edges so that's cool okay huh to try that and then what do we have in here at the very bottom is that everything everything in the bag and then there's this last little container in here and what we have in here is oh this pavil pavilio tape this is cute i don't know if i've shown you guys this before they have cute stuff in there this is just like the decorative masking tape but it's um kind of die cut so it has a cool design pattern on it so this that you see here that's actually how the tape looks it's very cool. It has the nice edges to it. 
So it makes for really cool. This is a whole roll of that. And I love the way it looks. It looks like a little soap or something. So those are really cute to give to people as gifts. I love that. And then we have in here one of these. These are classic, great things to have in the summertime. One of the Aroma Bands. And they had a whole series of these with Hello Kitty on them. They're cute. I'm not sure if there's Hello Kitty somewhere on her in, in here. But it's 220 yen. And it's one of those citronella kind of armbands that's supposed to keep away mosquitoes. So that's always a great thing to have for the summertime. And, you know, it's not, you always kind of need that when you're going to be at, outside. And then what do we have here is the last little guy here. This is a letter kind of set or envelopes, it looks like. <laughs> Look at that cute little bunny. Tomorrow is another day. How smart. All right, let's see. this. <laughs> yeah, it says Usagi. It's usually 300 yen, marked down to 210. Like I said, a lot of times what you're getting here is stuff that's left over from the year, and they're trying to clear stock and make room for the new year. So you, see, you get a lot of these things that, you know, people don't want or need anymore, but let's see what we have here. This looks like it's a, just a little card. Oh, that's cute. And it's a really thick, nice kind of card. So you can definitely use that for putting like a, as a name tag for a gift box and stuff. That's cute. With a nice little silver little bunny on there. I like that. Very cute. So that's sort of what you get in this kind of lucky bag and I mean for $30 to get all these things you know and I like this store I just never normally buy stuff from it because try you know don't spend my money on stuff like this too much so it's nice to go and get stuff like this for sure easily well over the $30 that I spent and not really anything in it that I hate so it's good uh, definitely something to kind of look forward to if you know you're going to be visiting in Japan during New Year's I think it can be such a fun time to be here and to try to get some stuff uh, so definitely try to think about it and check it out if you know you guys are going to be here. And that kind of concludes my look at some of the lucky bags that you can get in Japan. And I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. So look for those. I hope you all had a great start to 2018. I think it's going to be a great year. And uh, thank you so much as always for, for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.